Mike Lindell has a brand new show. He's got a brand new video uh, at, called Absolute Nine to Nothing, which is, I think, a, um, I, I think has something to do with um, this building and these people. Um, I guess all the court, uh, the Dems against him as far as court law. So we'll figure it out. Um, also, let me see if I can go back to the page. Um, here you go. Yeah. So th this is, I mean, there's more of this like just exciting and powerful um, design from Mike Lindell. And I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's why Trump shut down his microblog is because he, you know, he lost his web designer to Mike Lindell. Because, <laughs> I mean, there are only so many people that can do work this good. You know what I mean? Um, and uh, yes, we will cover some of uh, Dr. Fauci's emails and that stuff. There's a couple of things that happened today as far as videos, and I can't, they were live, so they'll, they won't post clips from it or segments of it until later today. So I want to do part of those tomorrow. Um, but there's a bunch of it. Anyways, um, if you click on this little button right here on this lovely little thing, um, let me move this mic because I don't need it today. Um, if you click on this little thing right here, does it, does it download the video? No, it doesn't. It just, just goes to another page where it plays the video because that's how qu high quality this whole thing is. This is just, I mean, the, the, it's stunning. The, the, the keen, the cunning, the, the instinct, <laughs> the instinct of this. Okay, I want to make sure my, okay, my headphones, are they playing? Because I didn't hear any sound on that one, so we'll see. Please tell me there's music. Hello, everyone. Oh, my God. Um, nope, there was no music. It was just him. Um, and apparently he's still at his chiropractor's office. That's weird. Um, <laughs> hi, Mike. I'm Mike Lindell. And as you really? all know, on January... Do we, do we all know that? Do we all know that? We January all 9th, I received evidence of a cyber attack orchestrated by China on our 2020 election. Um, just in case you haven't watched the other videos that he's put out that I have done the entirety of, um, just it, there should be just an asterisk. I need to have a big asterisk that pops up on screen that just kind of goes, um, yeah, it's citation needed, uh, already debunked BS. We'll talk about it later. Um, but effectively, like he, he had people from my pillow parachute into China, apparently, um, on, you know, like, Mission Impossible style and get the serial numbers off of laptops at Alibaba. I took that one piece of evidence and <laughs> and planted it in the ground and turned it into magic beans. I just went all in. No kidding. So you saw something on the ninth, and by the time you you you, you hadn't even finished reading the entire paper, and you went, "This I, this is good enough for me." This is, I'll stake my career and ev and the jobs of everyone in my company on the backs of this garbage. This was something different. Nobody had seen. This no, it was, it's, well, I mean, I think they've seen similar stuff in conspiracy theories that were big in the 90s. Some of the stuff that around 9-11 that popped up. Um, I mean, this was something that came through the machines, the Dominion machines, this there's a, uh, is that a Dominion machine? It says Premier. Smartmatic. And other this is a CNN. Do you have the rights to the CNN footage? Other machines. This was a cyber attack. I didn't know anything about cyber attack. And I still don't. Look at this. Secret information access 59%. Layer function. Return. Like this is, uh, oh, you know what you don't also know anything about, Mike? Clip art and stock footage. This is this apparently is a big hang up. And boy, I learned I had to learn real fast. And uh, I well, yeah, I mean, what I don't know why you had to learn within, I guess, another eight seconds and they'll have the entirety of all of our secret. I information. hired experts. I took uh -huh. valid. Dude, he hired experts. He some people showed up and he's paying them money so that they'll tell him what he wants to hear. This is so good. That's how it works. This is so good. Date this. I hire these guys are um, uh, white hat hackers that work. Yeah. For the government. But, Do they? But what I'm going to show you tonight is your is some is more stock footage. Don't want to let that Adobe stock 
subscription go to We're waste. We're going to all know now why I have been 100% sure that when this gets before the Supreme Court, it's going to be 9-0. That's where the uh, that's where the Supreme Court is, by the way. Just in case you didn't know where it was. he's show, I, mean, I mean, this is stock footage, too. 9-0 to pull this election down and that this was a 100% an attack by China on our country through these uh-huh. machines. And with this right now... So let me get this straight. Not only was Donald Trump president during the greatest bioweapon attack on our country, he was also president, if I'm following you, um, during uh, the greatest attack on our democracy ever, both in terms of a cyber attack with, from China and, uh, and another one, the greatest physical attack since, I guess, the War of 1812 on, on the Capitol. So all three of those things happened on his watch. He apparently could have used the Insurrection Act, according to Sidney Powell, and still be in office, according to the, like, right? But he didn't because he's a feckless loser. And yet these guys truly believe he's the man of the hour. No, that's not a clip on Ty. He's a professional. Oh, is one of my cybersecurity experts. These guys are the best. That you could afford. And this guy has over 20 years of experience working. Working in a, at a gamer's uh, headquarters. At, is that Riot Games? Is that during a League of Legends game? I don't know. In both the private sector and with government law enforcement and intelligence agencies. Really? Does he, he's been working for a long time. So is there, is there a chance any of these, the kids in that video uh, are his? He has many information. And these, guys, these guys right here, back up. And cybersecurity certifications that specialize in advanced adversary detection. Adversary detection. Cool. What's his, what's his specialty? Mounting uh, shock weapons, heat rays, and machine guns on drones that look for frowns and snipe people? M- mitigation and elimination. And here he is now. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mike. Thank- okay, this is trustworthy. I mean, this, I mean what, what's not to believe? It, it, you hired this dude? Thanks for having me. Who? Having who on? Uh, Thanks for all the work you've done for our country. And thanks for all the work you've done for myself. And I know... Thank you for all the work you've done for myself. Well, you can't do two takes of an interview like this. I mean, it's not like you can... I mean, obviously people will recognize the mouths are out of sync and not... Oh, God. I put uh, yourself and many others through uh, a couple months worth of work now just to get everything validated for our country, to show that this evidence is real. Yeah, I, I mean, the, the, how can the Supreme Court see this and not go nice? So what I'm gonna go through everybody, I'm gonna start from the, let's start from January 9th. The stuff that, that these guys brought to me. Um, the stock footage they brought to you, apparently of the Hulk uh, typing. The, these guys were there the night of the election and it was like taking a movie. I compared it to like taking a movie and they have all this information, millions of lines of data. Why don't uh-huh. we show that right now? Yeah, Can you go it. ahead and say what we're... I mean, that's, I mean, there really is no way. Um, yes, at, at 295 Eastern Ohio time and at 296 Eastern Ohio time, uh, here's a bunch. Watching here? Yeah, that's essentially the raw encrypted data. And I mean... It's the raw encrypted data. Can you unencrypt it for us so that we can see that this isn't just actually um, someone sending a, a video of themselves to a friend? I would run for, for the next couple of days. You know, that's the amount of data that we're dealing with here. So what this contains here is what? What are the, what are these? Yeah, what are these things, these numbers I've heard is of? Is this cyber forensics? What are we, what are we looking at? What, what are these called? I know. I know you had told me before they're called like PCAPs or something. Yeah, so PCAP is just an acronym for uh, packet capture. So it's essentially uh, a mo- it's a, a it's a series of numbers of encrypted information that could be anything. Moment in time that is captured and that the trend. Can you unencrypt it 
so that we can see transmission of the wait for it i trust that they're going to unencrypt this and it's going to it's not at all going to be um pictures that steve bannon sent of himself in the bath this packets any information that travels between point a and point b is essentially a packet and so those packets moving back and forth um during the election were captured but you need to actually uh record it and and so that's where we're very uh blessed and fortunate to have you know some of these guys that actually recorded the information as it happened very exciting okay what did they capture did you you heard it here people you heard it here everyone we have what a blessing it is that we have the evidence this is what i've been telling everybody for months now since january 9th these are these the actual um and what do they say evidence that was collected the night of the election from where from what computer to what computer in a couple of days following now i can't read these <laughs> neither can anyone else uh, 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 that's probably watching unless you're an expert uh. yeah no one can actually read those no one this dude he can't read that uh like you well, like you guys are uh, one, one more, more one more piece to that is you can't go back in time and fake a pcap essentially you have to capture that packet in real time so you yeah, but you can ahead of time plan to send packets on purpose if you want to fake something. Let's say let's say Trump is, I don't know, president of the United States, and he's telling everybody in an election that's coming up that all the polls are pointing to that he's going to lose, that if he loses, it's going to be because, be because of cheating. And so he knows he's going to lose fair and square. So he gets some people to uh, send some packets ahead of time or, or plan to do them on the day so that this can be his pushback when he actually loses. It's a it's a psyop like the other dude that Mike, Lind uh, Mike Lindell hired. Um, but, but I'm sure they've got an explanation. You need to record it. You can't you don't go backwards and, you know, recreate this whole, you know, uh, chain of events. Sure you can. It wow. happens and you record it. That's not true at all. Right. So, okay, that's a great point. Bullshit. So what, what he's saying there, everyone, is you can't go back in time and say, AK, okay, I'm going to make these up. So you're just going to repeat everything the guy says in, in are these, I'm confused. Are these layman's terms? And also, he speak, I speak pillow, your honor. So you can't go back and change anything, right? Once you, if you have these PCAPs. Yeah, no one can change digital code. No one could write a code that says something was sent on a day when it wasn't sent. What do you think computers are, time machines? You can't go change them. It's a, it's a blessing we have them. If we didn't have them, everything, the evidence would be long gone, correct? Yeah, it, it it would definitely be gone and you know luckily somebody pressed record during the entire election so wow you know. luckily someone pressed record really did on was it real to real or? Uh, yeah that is a blessing and and they brought it to me why did they bring it to me because you were a gullible sap and this dude is in league with the people who are selling you the fake evidence because you'll dole out millions of dollars because you're still a carpet farmer at heart because i, I at that point on january 9th um, you, know, you know, nobody else was, all the other evidence they found for no- All the other millionaires were already calling bullshit. November and December, all, I call it the organic cheating. All the, you know, dead people voting, non-residents voting, all this other stuff. Oh, all the Trump votes you mean. Everybody's so focused on that. And they, and these guys, they, I mean, they're heroes that ended up collecting this the night of the election. Yeah, I mean, they could have been, I mean, they, they could have interrupted their Call of Duty game. I mean, so they bring it to me now, everybody, and I'm going, okay. Okay, how much money do you want? I don't understand any of this. Um, so how much do you need from me um, to make me think that it, it has to be real or no one would charge me $8 million for it? I wanted to find, learn all I could about it. And, and you still haven't? Dude, it's June. One of the things is, uh, now, if you take this stuff here, 
Uh-huh. And I, what did I, one of the things I asked you and many other side, because I have many cyber, cyber experts. Yeah, lots of them on retainer. Hold on, this is very loud for some reason. Uh, bring it down a touch. I'm going, is there any way, any way you can go back in time and, and doctor it, change it? I, I think you compare yes. it to like a forensic scene at a, at a crime scene. For th- no, it isn't. It is not. There is nothing in the digital world that is like a forensic crime scene, no matter how much stock footage you buy. This is, this is insanity. Like, I'm, I, look, <laughs> I, I know computers are complicated for some people, but you do realize that everything in them is code. And can we, what in the world? Like DNA evidence, is that? No, it's not like DNA evidence. It is so not like DNA I correct- evidence. No. Yeah, so <laughs> really what you're looking at is, I mean, there's hash values which are unique to each item. Any change to that, it'll it'll change the hash. So that's how you verify images or, mm-hmm. you know, the PCAP in this in this uh, case. Verify it as what? Because, I mean, honestly, where is this coming from? Where is it going? I mean, I appreciate we're seeing these numbers go by, but it's been it's been five minutes of this flickety 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 and him going, this is totally real. I'm sure they're, please tell me there's like a real genius moment where they tap the screen and suddenly patterns start so to emerge. So when you're looking at, you know, this file. <laughs> it's our DNA is binary code. That's right. You make sure that it hasn't been doctored or anything's been done to it because when you do the work, it needs to match that original file. You don't have the original files, though. You don't. You don't have access to servers inside, I guess, county. Maybe you think you do, but you don't have access to the servers inside the, the you know, county election offices. And you certainly don't have access to actual computers in China, supposedly. So what are you matching? You are matching that this packet was sent from one place to another on election night, allegedly, that wasn't found until January 9th, even though they hit record on November 3rd. And yet, and by the way, well, this is, I mean, we've seen a bunch of this shit where the, uh, like he's, he's like, look, Trump, all the, Trump loses all these votes every time they hack in. Well, they hacked in here and they weren't, they, they weren't successful, but he still lost votes. Oh, it's almost like he was losing votes as they counted the mail-in and the uh, and the absentee votes. And so that that's where you start. And then, you know, yeah, you know, we work to unencrypt and pull the data out to uh, great. Let's hear identify it. exactly what happened during that period of time. OK, so have, now when you in all your work in 20 years, then do you work with these PCAPs a lot or do, I, do most cyber? Ex- Everybody does. That's what he's saying. That's just it's a packet of information. It's all he works with. Experts, is that that's what you work with all the time? Yeah, a lot. Of, a lot of the time we do because um, you know, because that's what you fake for a living when you're and you got a sap on the line like him. Well, you, if there is a active cyber attack, you record it, and the way you record it is through a PCAP. That's how you capture that traffic, and that traffic. You mean a packet capture? When when you capture that information, you have the source, you have the destination, you know, you have the files All that there. are being transmitted. And you also have the software demo um, that shows that you can capture these things when you're trying to sell your services to an organization, which is exactly what he showed in his uh, Absolute Proof movie, right? right. Through, what, through what protocol? It, it captures a lot of information and, you know, you go through it and right. essentially what, translate it. Right. That's what took so long. Uh, I, I believe uh, it's been a couple months now with I've had yourself and many others validating and uh, translating uh, this these CPACs. And- yeah, the CPACs. Yeah, at CPAC this year, they, were, they, they had a lot of translators. Um, there was literally thousands of hacks, right, from China? Yeah. Well... Sure. There were there were a, there were a lot, and there were a lot successful. Some were just doing reconnaissance, and, uh-huh. and others were flipping votes. 
And so right. it would go, go in and identify where it needed to flip, and then it would flip. So, okay. yeah, there was a lot so, of activity. So what I had you guys do was go out and get 20, just grab 20 of the PCAPs. Just grab 20 random PCAPs. 20 of them that, tra that you could take that data mm -hmm. and translate it into something that was readable for all of us here. Yep, you showed it in your other thing and we broke it down and oddly enough, every time they broke in, Trump's votes still went down no matter whether they were successful or so not. So what I did is I said, you know what, let's just see how this, you know, because this was in the millions and millions of votes that were flipped in our election uh -huh. by China from uh, from uh, Trump to Biden, okay? Um, or the other way around, I mean, obviously. So I said, well... Let's just grab twenty of them. So yeah, just do, yeah, just do a sample. We can make this uh, this uh, um, absolutely nine zero video. So we went out, we grabbed twenty of them. Now it took uh, uh, I don't know what it take four to six weeks to validate just those twenty um, uh, PCAPs, and and because I wanted every, I was very particular, wasn't I? I wanted every little thing validated and uh, one hundred percent full. I'm convinced. I mean, I don't even know why you're even. So this guy, show us, show us the validation. I mean, I, I, don't get me wrong. I'm, uh, I think all of us are getting, you know, turgid just watching the numbers fly by. And these were the five states. These were five states: Michigan, Wisconsin. I like the graphics. Uh, fiber strikes again. Pennsylvania, Arizona, and Georgia. Wow. Okay, so now what I want to do is bring up the data that you tr that you took uh, the PCAPs for the record. And, and I'd like to say for the record, um, the the numbers we can see going by in the PCAP that he's shown could very well simply be the code for the graphic we just saw that Mike Lindell bought off of Fiverr, and uh, there is no way Mike Lindell would know the difference, and there is no way we would know if this guy is legit. How in the shit? is this supposed to convince anyone i'm excited i'm I, I mean we're barely 10 minutes in and uh i'm i mean i'm already there Translated it for us and showed just these 20 attacks exactly what these pcap show and that we can all read on the first line uh if we start on the top here this is uh -huh. from uh, if we look at the date it's a yeah nobody nobody could uh, type, okay, and this is, by the way, 11, 3, 11, 4, 11, 5. They're not all in the same, why are they not in order? So these are 20 at random. I guess these are 20 random packets on these particular days, right? So these are not in order because, uh, and, and these are, this is where they came from. So let's see, hold on one second, if I may, guys. Um, Let's see, uh, Google Maps. Um, here we go. Uh, let's see, uh, let's go. Uh, yeah, three nine dot uh, nine zero four two um, one one six dot four zero seven. Here we go. Just bringing this up here. Um, <laughs> oh my God, who could have known? It's amazing. If you go onto Google Maps, it turns out that look where the Beijing People's Government building is. It's almost, look at this place. Clearly it is, a, it is the center of cyber warfare in, uh, oh. This guy, he looks like a definitely a black hat hacker. He's about to get his free new car. Um, for <laughs> um, all right. So this is the so I look. I get it. I get it. No one, no one in Mike Lindell's employ or this guy's employ or anybody in the other hackers could just go find Chinese government buildings in Google Maps and enter in the longitude and lab latitude that's to Zhengyi Road, Dongcheng, Beijing, Zhongguo. Um, 
And look, there's the phone number. I mean, we could call them right now. Um, should I claim this business? Maybe I should. All right. So, um, <laughs> wow. So province Beijing, province Beijing, mm, city Beijing. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, mm, in that, mm, province of, mm, Be not quite. Let's, um, real, real quick, need to check real quick. Um, mm, mm. Oh, yeah. Just in case the uh, folks come up. Mm -hmm. So just uh, just in case you were wondering, Beijing is in the Hebei province. Um, I don't know why anybody's listing it as such. Um, and I also don't know why we were attacked from the UK. But um, we'll, I'm sure it will all be answered um, in, in short order. I have no doubt. Um, hold on one second. I'm going to bring that guy back up and uh, we'll continue. 11 3 20 the day of the election at 10 49 p.m can you go ahead and take us through this uh when you talk about the source and take us through us line by line and explain yeah. what this uh what this is yeah so um the source is the ip address from the computer that essentially uh you know changed that vote so since we focused on the 20, each one of these resulted in votes being changed. So that's the source. Um, latitude and longitude so is... Uh, so for the record, um, you, uh, you checked on all these, uh, apparently these Chinese attacks, um, and you excluded any of the ones that were successful hacks where votes weren't changed and were unsuccessful hacks where votes still changed. Okay, just just so we're being scientific. Within 400 yards of where that device is located, um, Beijing, uh, obviously China, yards? province, city, um, and then this what? next part um, is the network that was pulled out of um, out of the PCAP essentially. But you know, some of this is in Chinese, so when you translate it. You just want to make sure and, you know, as you've asked us to do, double, triple, quadruple, you know, validate. And right. so we've been going through making sure. That yeah, we're making sure that Beijing is actually spelled correctly, that it's in its own province. Translations and all the information checks out. So what he's saying here, everybody, is what I. Is, uh, is the same bullshit you said in the last three videos that doesn't line up? Yeah is I made them all validate the validation. Isn't that correct? No, you didn't. You made them look at the packet they provided you with to prove it had the information in it that was in the other video that we watched. You're basically reverse engineering your own demo code from the software that you showed us in the other video. This is so goddamn dumb. Good Lord. Yeah, China needs NordVPN. Yeah, it's fascinating to me, by the way, that they went to all this trouble to encrypt this, but they didn't bounce this through another server someplace else. China attacked our voting machines directly without going through anywhere else. That, I mean, <laughs> holy shit. Correct. Yeah, so we, you know, because we're dealing with uh, other languages, we validated the- No, you're not. You're dealing with code. Validation that was validated. So the, the next line- Beijing Baidu Netcom Science and Technology Code Limited, network name Shenzhen Sunrise Technology Company Limited, network registration in Baidu. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Virgin, oh, it seemed, I knew we couldn't trust Richard Branson. Virgin's behind the whole thing. 
Yeah, not a single fucking proxy. Not one. That's amazing. I'm there, which is the network code. What, what would that be? Yeah, what would that be? I mean, how can we even know? Yeah, so that, that, that's essentially from the registration of, of um, that IP. So, you know, most every... Entry point owner. Oh my God, this is fucking gibberish. Every single uh, IP is registered to somebody. Is it? Okay. So when you look at that network, that network range... Um, yeah, it's nothing you couldn't look up on the actual servers for a uh, Chinese government uh, website or uh, or any of the, like, uh, Alibaba servers. You couldn't just, like, look in your browser at the friggin' IP. And, you know, identify who, who the registered owner is. Right. So that, that's okay. Or you could go and look up the registered owner. You could also go to the state uh, website in, you know, in Georgia or any of these sites. You could uh, create a demo of software where this server is firing on this server and getting information out of it to show how your software works by inputting IP addresses and 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 putting inputting like on the on the receiving and sending ends, and then have those uh, you know reverse and basically just show the code for your demo to the people you're selling the software to and go this is how it would work if you really did it in real time, and you'd need a real dumbass like Mike Lindell to buy it. Where it comes up. And you'd have to make sure that he'll give you millions of dollars, but never sh see your face. Okay, so you got all of this information from the PCAPs, is that correct? Yeah. No, they put it into their own PCAP, but okay. Yeah. The next line, it says target. Now we just went through, which- So these are all target locations. So, um, I mean, are they full targets with like the, the grocery store or just the smaller ones? You know, because if they don't have a Starbucks, I just don't need to go. I mean, I can just pick stuff up at, at, at Office Depot on my way home. Should be the, the hacker or the attacker, so to speak, correct? So Yeah, sure. And now yeah. we're going to get into the target, which is, um, I, I, I guess I could pull that out. The target, that's the target. Would that be the target's IP address? And then again, the longitude, latitude. And the state within 500 yards, you know, because that's how computers work. Ballpark, you know what I mean? It's like it, it's like when they were trying to trace a phone, a, you know, a payphone by triangulating s signals in an 80s cop movie. That it came, that it was hacked into, correct? Keep them on the line. We're almost in. Yep. And then we have the entry point. Joshua was still playing the game. Um. You know, there's uh, Delta County here in this case, and then the network registration. What is oh. it? So the network registration, that also, all this stuff came right out of the PCAPs that's preserved in time. Which was put into the PCAPs by the assholes that sold him this information. You can't change it. And when you have it. Yes, he said longitude. Have it, it's 100%. Uh, it's, uh, it's non-negotiable. It's not, there's no, I mean. Notice he, they only picked ones where there was uh, allegedly a successful hack in the demo. In all of those situations on the timeline in reality, which they had to enter in, Trump's votes went down somehow a certain amount. Now they also, if you watch the other video we did of his shit, they also went down whether it was successful or not because uh, this happened during a real event where Trump was losing because of mail-in and early votes that were being counted, and especially in areas where they delayed the counting. Here it is. This is what it is. Is that correct? Yeah, I think uh, we were saying that it, it's, this isn't subjective. It, it just is what it is. It's yes, it's uh, bullshit is, is the word. Fact, the information, you know, speaks for itself and, and right. you go from So there. before before we go to the last couple of lines, I want to ask you this. If you are going to prove... I mean, this is this is way better than the other numbers. A case, a cyber case. Yeah, don't go to his face because everyone will go, why am I listening to this dickhead? Play a piece of case. 80s clip cyber art. Cyber attack. <laughs> I'm convinced. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> really? Really, kids? Really? <laughs> Oh, all right, but wait, hold on. We're only about halfway through. There's definitely, <laughs> quit guys. There's definitely gonna be, this is real, okay? And if you if you had a, a wish list, like let's say, you know. If you had a wish list, you would use, uh, absolutely you would use, you'd alternate between um, Apple uh, Wi-Fi keyboard, or uh, Bluetooth keyboards and plug-in keyboards, but everybody'd have a magic mouse in a perfect world. I, obviously when I came to you, and they'd all wear the same white shirts because they're these are the good hackers looking allegedly at the footage. And said and, and others and said, hey, I have something that's really gonna change the world. It's good because these guys brought me these uh I didn't know they were called uh PCAPs at the time. Yeah, but now you I mean that's all you really need to know. Uh, from uh, but I knew they were from the night of the election. Um what would you would you say if you could have your wish list to 100% prove something, is this what it would be? What would it be in a cyber attack? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'd need some more money to really look into this it is 100 for weeks and weeks. <laughs> I mean, this is what you would want. This is yeah. A lot of times, you know, you come in, at least, you know, in our line of work, we get called in after the attack. So this was something that was captured during the attack. Uh-huh. Wow. Really? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I buy it. I want that. Right. You want to catch somebody. To... Yeah, you want to catch them, you know, somebody's robbing a bank, you want to have it on video. Like, right. that's okay. definitive evidence. This is robbing the bank and having it on video. So I want... Well, no, it isn't actually, because um, you, you arguably... Uh, had a lot of situation where apparently um, there, you you self-selected out only the, the people who successfully went into the bank in this theory. Now, at some point, money left the bank, but these people did not. So, I mean, just following the bank robber analogy, let's say you had video of a bunch of guys running into a bank with shotguns, but they never left with any money. That the bank was already throwing money out the windows because they had, that was, that was, it was, it was throw money out the window day at the bank. And money was leaving hand over fist because of how the bank was operating. So you technically didn't have a robbery. These guys came to rob a bank that was giving away free money in case of Trump losing votes because he was losing. I wanted to hear everyone to hear that. This is, we have what everyone would ever want if uh, if there was a crime committed, cyberly, a cyber attack. We have cyberly. the forensic evidence. We have the movie. We have the video of the bank being robbed, so to speak. No, you don't. If you have to say, so to speak, you don't have it. And right before, I, I wanted you all to hear that before you look at the last Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on there, buddy. Couple lines here. Can you not? I can't play this back. I can't move this backwards. What the hell is Gaslight Media? That's your. Gas. Gaslight. Chain O Lakes Internet. City of Madison. Comcast Cable Communications LLC. Net Solutions Networks, Network Solutions? Amazon, so they hacked in through, they had Chain of Lakes, Rackspace Hosting, Amazon, InMotion, in, so, uh, okay, hold on, I need to look something up. The hell is Gaslight Media? It is a uh, Petoskey, A cre this is gaslightmedia.com. This is they were hacked. A creative digital agency. Yeah. Um, 
They've got nine dedicated team members that work there. GLM Media has poured thousands of hours into development of internet technology that not only looks aesthetically pleasing, but also incorporates solid business sense. We're a full service web, web development company with passionate designers, developers, programmers, and network specialists striving to create amazing websites by combining brand storytelling, web development, and an awesome user experience. We believe the foundation of any successful project is a firm understanding of our clients' needs unrestricted communication and free-flowing collaboration. Here's what we've been working on. The travel and tourism page for Dickinson County. Blue Water CVP, um, a uh, travel and tourism site. Gaylord Golf Mecca. Happy Pride, everyone. Interested in seeing more? Shit, yeah. Let's see it. Projects. We're privileged to partner with Bay Harbor Vacation Rentals. Upper Peninsula Travel and Recreation, S Salt Street Marie CVB, uh, Petoskey Area CVB. Okay, what's that? That's definitely something. Petoskey Area CVB. A consumer Voting Bureau. Oh, vote Visitors Bureau. Oh, this is the they hacked Stafford Hospitality. Discover. Oh, this is how they did it. They broke in through Discover Kalamazoo. They made a left turn at the video about the lady. Well, I've heard the time. Yeah. Discover how Kalamazoo is made for you. They should really have this in Chinese. COVID-19 reopening. Check out our tips, lists, and stories on how to break in. This is how they got in. This they let Somebody left the outhouse door open. <laughs> this is the, all right. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, hold on. There's got to be Starline Hydrojet Ferry, the Michigan Maritime Museum, and Bay Harbor Properties. They got honorable mentions in Meetings, Michigan, uh, Kawinaw Peninsula, uh, Copper Country, West, uh, Munising, France Journeys, the Mole Hole. That sounds suspicious. That's how they got in. Dun, 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 dun. The mole hole gifts and collectibles. Oh my God. There's this is they plant these on your desk and it's really a USB. <laughs> well, this place is adorable. And gifts to make sure you say, aw. That's sweet. I like the I want to go to this place. Look at these little things. Oh my gosh. They're just the they're just precious. And there's and they they have good like strength. Fearless, believe, love, grateful, all, all, of course, lefty propaganda. That's why she's... Uh, original Sulox Boat Tours, Charm, Charm, I get it, Charm, yeah, Charlevoix, Emmett, ISD, so you Charm, you Charm them, right, okay. Alpena, Michigan, Calhoun County Visitors Bureau, Discovery Kalamazoo, um, Barton Original Oils, and Great Lakes Shipwreck, Shipwreck Museum. Um, Petoskey webcam for advertising opportunities for ads and stuff. So, so, so the Chinese broke into Gaslight Media, and a, a an expert web design company with nine people working there that drinks seventy two cups of uh, coffee a week and works for two hundred seventy four thousand collective hours, um, who do travel stuff for the state of Michigan and they hacked into that and that's how they were able to throw that and, and just by breaking into discover Calama fucking zoo Trump lost votes Trump lost 3477 votes because the Chinese were able to break into discover Calama into Dickinson County into the, they broke in through the Gaylord Golf Mecca, which obviously is where they were storing some of the Trump votes. <laughs> uh, honest, honestly, For, th this is one of the twenty you choose. They successfully broke into in, into them. Use it, they they had credentials and a firewall. They broke through both or neither, whatever this is. They, but they were successful. They used this network code, and Trump was down 3477.
How, why wouldn't you? Okay. Mike, Booby, I can give them to you. I don't want to help you at all, but for fuck's sake, man, if this is your 9-0 case and the second one down is a PR company that covers C Gaylord Golf Mecca and canoe trips and little, look at that little precious little peanut wants to go swimming. He wants these, but he needs more. Make sure some sunscreen on that kid, will you? It's, it's hot out. Um, this is an ad, this is an advertising agency that that works for the tourism board, and this is your second one down. So you're 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 one of these nine to nothing moments. This is that you've got this in front of the Supreme Court, Mike. You've got them there. You got them by the shirt collar. They and Amy Coney Barrett has got a, a you know a. a She's maple thorped out and she's got a bull whip in her hand and she's making everybody listen to your shit, right? And the second thing on your list, the second, th okay, hold on one second. Um, think one second. Um, here we go. Uh, the second thing, I mean, County of Allegheny, uh, like, even then, like that makes me think that like, okay, what's Merit Network? This is, let's go to the first one on the list. Let's go right through Falcon's maze. Me uh, Merit Network Inc. Merit Network Inc. What does Merit, um, Network Security, Community, and healthcare and nonprofits, higher ed, K-12, libraries, government, network security community. Okay, here are sir. We have internet stuff. Let's see, unlike commercial providers, Merit's quality of service and uptime are unmatched. Our fiber infrastructure provides upload speeds equal to, okay, so there are, Merit members of June become a member of American and receive complimentary year of membership as well as the joint letter to Congress on the broadband in stimulus bills. Well, of course they want more money so they can hook up to Jana. Um, and they're in Ann Arbor. Let's see. Let's go to security. What do they do in terms of American security services? From hospitals to government agencies, large universities with massive computing power to small nonprofits with a handful of devices, anyone can become a target of cybercrime. More than seven percent of all data breaches go undetected, and it takes an organization on average two hundred days to notice the crime. Cyber attacks are growing. There. Security products. What do they have? Community CISO, Merit Community CISO services uh, include assessing your attack surface, identifying weaknesses. They have a CISO scanner. They that. Dedicated denial of service protection. They ma they have a managed firewall, which apparently was breached. They got in, and Trump went down 32, 15. And by the way, um, collaboration. Who do they collaborate with? Government, uh, Governor's High School Cyber Challenge and the scope. Of, okay, so they're getting hacker kids. Um, community about maybe they maybe they handle. This is the whole area. Network community, our mission. I mean, if you're, okay, community integrity, people, innovation, excellence. I mean, this should really be in Chinese at this point. Um, our team, our contact, our policies, email, let's see. Contact. What time? It's too late, isn't it? They're going to be gone for the day. This has got to be something. Hold on. Don't. Hold on, I gotta turn off uh, my whoops, turn off my Bluetooth on this thing so it doesn't, so my headphones don't jump from one thing to the other. This is a lot of work. Okay, hold on, one second. Um, keep hands on the thing. Okay, seven seven. Oops, sorry. Back up on the thing. Seven three four five two seven uh, fifty seven hundred. Okay. Speaker. Thank you for calling Merit Network. To reach the member relations teams, please press 1. To reach the Merit Support Center or RADB support, press 2. For an automated staff directory, press 3. To report an ongoing network abuse incident that requires immediate attention, please press 4. To report a non-critical network abuse incident, please send email to abuse at merit.edu. For all other inquiries, please press 0. Please stay on the line while your call is transferred to the operator. Thank you for calling the Merit Support Center. 
Please hold for the next available representative. Okay. Davis, can come out. Hi, um, uh, this is a kind of a call out of the blue for you guys, but um, you guys were just referenced for for the record in a Mike Lindell voter fraud um, video that he just posted online, alleging a hack to your system on election night that uh, where they used your network to steal three thousand two hundred and fifteen votes um, <laughs> from uh, Trump on election night. That you were that your firewall was in tr was uh, breached. It was a successful one, and you have the network code AS two three seven. Is that does AS two three seven ring a bell with you guys? Um, I would actually, you know, you probably should be talking to my supervisor. Do you mind if I transfer? You? Not at all. I would love that. Thanks very much. All right, give me one moment. That's okay. I'm 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 live streaming this right now because we just stumbled on this. So, just so you know. What could happen on the other side when China breaks into your life? How could anyone even... Sorry, I don't want to sing into the thing. Why can I speak to a supervisor to find out what the hell is going on? Oh yes, I know what's going on. Ni hao, what am English? Hello? Oh, I thought they were there. It's a very exciting show today. You're on hold with me. How's that feel? I'll be okay. We got we have it over an hour. We're okay Time for the family chat. I don't, I don't know how long I'm going to be on hold, but damn. He's explaining what I told him, like, to his su supervisor. And the guy's like, I what? Do I really have to? Still here, just waiting on him to respond. Give me one more moment. No problem. Thanks very much. All right. Thanks, thanks, Kale Link. I'm relaxed. I, I think you should, I think many of you are relaxed. Oh god! Every time, it, every time the phone is hashy, I think it's. I hope this music is cleared. <laughs> Karai Joe is asking, "How many views does uh, Mike's movie have?" I can't tell. He's got it on his own site. Yeah, I was trying to tell him that uh, I was uh, streaming it live, so hopefully he passed that on. If not, I'll re reiterate it to his supervisor.
I mean, come on, man. This is the first... I feel bad for these folks. I'm not suggesting, by the way, anybody call them or bug them. This is not their fault. <laughs> I'm just gonna let that continue while I drag this page out on top of here. Because we're going to have to contact uh, Gaslight next. These guys. Hold on. Contact us. Put this over here. Call us. Monday to Friday, 9 to 5 is too late in Petoskey. I'm just going to fill, I'm filling out it just so you guys know, um, I'm putting it, I'm emailing them. Hello? Damn it. <laughs> the hell. I know. I have that triggered on an S, so every time I type it, uh, let's see. Um, mm -hmm. This is just going to take on <laughs> ever. Sorry, this is going to yell at me again. Yeah. All these are going to go by popping up. Sorry about the, as I type with my, I had it triggered on an S key. That was probably a mistake. I do not need the satire banner right now. This is true. I'll fix this as I go. Oops. Now I set that back up, so we'll go back to our normal thing. <laughs> All right, so now I can type without it like freaking everything out. Okay, um, mentioned in a Mike Lindell election fraud um, video called uh, Absolute Nine to Zero. Uh, he uh, alleges um, mm -hmm. you were, I would show you guys, but it shows my email address and I'm not nuts. Come on. Uh, he alleges you were um, complicit. No, it's not, not complicit. Uh, you were uh, hacked on election night and it resulted in an a loss of how many votes was it for Trump on that on the gaslight? Gaslight lost 3477. Um 3477 votes for Trump. Um, um any comment? Mm -hmm. Okay, submitted it. Okay, 
I'd call him, but it's a, it's too late in the day. There's no way this dude's coming back. Bless his heart. <laughs> the okay, so Pima County Charter Communications. These are all going to be website Comcast. Windstream Communications LLC. They got to be somebody, right? Wind. Hold on. Whoops. Stream Communications LLC. Today's best. So it's, this is just the webs. This is just literally the their webs provider. This is they provide Kinetic, which is one of the residential business enterprise wholesale community. What do they do? Press release Kinetic live stream to participate FCC's emergency broadband benefit. Uh, the, the, the kinetic wind stream, kinetic wind stream launches. Your call is important to us. Please continue to hold. I feel, I feel important. Thank you. Um, oh, this is Georgia. Do your part, be cyber smart. Wonderful. They're honoring our, our soldiers. Fiber. And, yeah, this is just, these are just the actual. Yeah. Okay. So God. Well, okay. We'll keep playing. And if he comes on, I'll tell you. You have the, you have the, uh, by the way, <clears throat> we'll call Amazon next. Intrusion, what, how they got in, firewall or the credentials, whether they had the credentials. And was it a success? Yes, it was a success. Here it is, everybody. <laughs> yes, I've self selected all the no, it wasn't successful, and Trump still lost votes ones out. I've taken all the successful ones where his votes didn't go down out. And I've basically isolated these 20 to, right. What happened? What happened? Yeah. What, what happened at the Kalamazoo travel board? In this case, Donald Trump, it says down, uh, there were 3,215 votes flipped. And you can go all the way down this list. Uh-huh. And every one of them was a Trump, uh, t votes taken from Trump given to Biden. It was a. No, these are just him. He was he lost votes during that time period in all of these areas on these self selection the selected choice points that you used because the people selling you this software decided to use all the time periods where he was losing and he lost by a lot in areas where he lost by a lot. Flip. So these cyber hacks and these attacks, are you saying that these is it? Hello. Hi, I was able to talk to my manager and I have a response. Oh, great. Hold on. I just let, need to let you know I'm live streaming. So uh, you don't give your name or anything like that. It's just out of curiosity, but go ahead. The response is any violation of the merit acceptable use policy is prohibited. To this end, we work frequently with law enforcement authorities on the local, state and federal level to provide any necessary information during criminal investiga investigations mm -hmm. prosecutions. To follow proper due process, you should file a police report and make a criminal complaint with either your local police department or your police authorities. From there, we are able to work with law enforcement and provide any information that we may have to aid in that investigation. Gotcha. I'm not actually making this claim or making any kind of case, just so you know. I'm telling you guys that uh, Mike Lindell, the My Pillow guy, is alleging in his newest video that you guys were hacked on on uh, specifically Merit Network Incorporated network code AS two three seven was intruded on election night um, using credentials that they have within the company and they were able to breach your firewall. They were successful. This is according to him, and that Trump lost three thousand two hundred and fifteen votes when it happened. And I'm not alleging this at all. I'm not, I have no need to call the cops, but you are, your Merit Network Incorporated is literally the first one on his list, on his new video. <laughs> he hung up. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, somebody out there went eh, like that. 
Um, <laughs> we'll call, uh, I'll see if Gaslight, I feel bad for those guys. This is not their fault. This is just garbage. And I'm just curious what their response, and by the way, that's the proper response. If some jackass calls you asking about my pillow um, and saying that you guys are the number one on the list of, of this, this is what you should do. And this is what everybody's doing. When, ah, Templeton, calling people like this a great new added on feature. Love your versatility. Oh, thanks very much. I would, I would rig this in if we did the show earlier, um, East Coast to West Coast time, I could probably uh, get a hold of some of these folks. Um, I don't know why Network Solutions is in here. I mean, these are just hosting services. Um, none of this, by the way, just for the record, whoever this jackass is that's alleging any of this stuff, that China tried to breach these sites on election night or tried to get into them in any way, or that they are in any way aligned with the voting machines is not alleged in any of this shit. It, there is nothing in this that says that when that let give them the entirety that China really attacked without using a proxy or a VPN, you know, a, a private network server anywhere else. Didn't bounce it through any other countries like every other spy movie you've seen in your life. Let's just allege on that, that this is a real thing, that the Chinese government decided to hack the American election and they did it point to point. Right live like oh shit just hurry up don't go okay uh, let's just let's go with that actually happened it's fucking bananas but let's go with it nothing in that china attacked this company or this place of origin th any of these things has anything to do with this these two columns trump changed and the votes down this part these, these are unrelated. This is like saying that um, when, if you were saying that the Chinese, remember the Chinese uh, space station that fell out of the sky and it was, it was dropping in altitude? If you said that somebody did a dedicated denial of service on, uh, on Yahoo's email server, and then you went, look at this. Here's all the attacks, the DDoS attacks on Yahoo's email server, and here's the altitude of the Chinese um, uh, space station as it fell to Earth. And you aligned these two and went, as you look, this thing fell, and this was the rate that it fell, and these were the hacks that happened. Now, they weren't. there's no direct lineage between they stole this many emails and therefore it fell this many feet. There's no alignment in that at all, right? This is, I mean... Okay, so uh, what I'm saying is, for the record, the, this is a correlation argument at best. At worst, this is the most gullible, drunken bullshit I've seen since the first mic. These numbers here at the video. end came right off of those PCAPs. Is that correct? Yeah, those, uh, I mean, they're specific numbers, right? <laughs> yeah, they're specific numbers. Yes, 3,215 is a number. Right. So those... You're not just rounding up; it's actual specific, like to the vote numbers that were wow. pulled out of the PCAPs. Wow! 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 What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is so awesome. So everybody, do you <laughs> see what this is? What we? Oh, I. Uh... I have a, 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 some people are asking about, like, I, I have a mild sprain. I, uh, I hit my wrist. And so it's got a little, like, I don't know if it was a crack or whatever, but we're just stabilizing it. It's going to be fine. Thank you for asking. You have here, you talk about a smoking gun. No problem, Amy. This is why I've been so, why everybody, you know, for two months, people have attacked me and. No, they haven't attacked you, Mike. You put this shit out and people criticize it as garbage. That's what I'm doing. I'm not attacking you. I'm not. I'm not apropos of nothing, just going, you know what, fuck the pillow guy. Like, I'm not doing that. You're attacking our democracy. You're a dumbass. You're dunsing your way through this. And you're so sure of yourself, you're, you're putting your employees' careers at risk because you're going to give away all your money to these hacks who are, who are tricking you because you're a moron. And none of this says what you think it says.
told me I didn't have the evidence and all this stuff. And You don't have the evidence. You don't have any of this stuff. We've made these other movies, but I wanted to get on here and explain to everyone. This was an attack by China. This is the same thing he said in the other video. Honest to God. It's like, it's like um, if you went, uh, let's see. How do I do this? Let's see. View. Um, I don't normally do this. Um, let's see. Let's see. Just, just view the JavaScript console right there. So let's just look. Here's here's. Uh, um, we'll just grab all this stuff in there. No source code. Let's see. Go into their local stores. There's Mike Lindell's. Is this? There's nothing here. Let's see, hold on. I'll I'll find it in here. Hold on. Let's go back to here. I don't want to view the the um I don't want to view that again. Let's see. View. They've got the source turned off on there. You can't, they don't they've got it blocked. On our country, through these Dominion and these other machines, where and they just hacked in a cyber attack, hacked into our election and flipped it to everyone, anyone that they wanted to win. In this case, it was the Democrat Party. I want to ask you something before we go to the next chart. Yeah, the, the next chart. Going, that's, you know that's not a chart, right? Not for real. That's a list. Going to the Supreme Court, when this gets there, when we, when we bring this to the Supreme Court. Yeah, they're going to go. Um, yeah, we called Merit uh, Internet. They hung up on us, and they're right to do so. And secondly, um, the, the second person on your list does canoe trip websites. And so what you're saying, because this isn't subjective and you can't change anything. And with this evidence, if this is not evidence again, post it for download, put all of it, all of the code. Don't give it to this asshole. I don't, we don't even know who this is. You're going to show me this guy's face hashed out. What is he? An undercover cop? He's just, he's, he works in cybersecurity. He sells a service. He meets with people in person. Uh, and you go in there and what would you expect? Is there any way it could be five to four or six to three that this is real or eight to one? Um, or does it have to nah. be nine zero? It's irrefutable. Uh, I, I, I disagree. I'm refuting it right now. I'm calling bullshit on all of it. This is not evidence. Again, I like this is like the Hunter Biden laptop. Show it. You got it? Post the entire hard drive online. Nothing is stopping you. Irrefutable. Well, that's and no, it's refutable. I just refuted it. Dude, I just called the web the web provider that you list first on your list, the top of your list. The point and and there is nothing that says that they got in just because they attack a, a provider doesn't mean they get to any of the sources, much less any of the sources that have anything to do with with voting machines. The word uh, irrefutable, really, and, it's, and it's not subjective, right? I mean, this is if you not one, at all, right? Yeah, no, no. Don't worry about it, Mike. Your money is well spent. Spent. We're gonna need. I'm gonna get that next check right after we hang up, right? Blood stuff. Sometimes you have little specks of blood, right? right. This is a bu a bucket of it. It's, wow! It's yes, it is. It's it's well, it's not real blood. Of course, it's corn syrup and and food coloring. And somebody walked in and and splashed it all over a real crime scene. And and uh, they've already taken the body away. And you guys are insisting that the the dead body was the murderer, and the person who is, escaped is actually in the morgue. Like. <laughs> yeah, you, you that's have, so awesome. You have... now, now everybody knows why I've, why I've had the confidence I've had over the last couple months. Because you're, uh, you, you have the mind of an addict and you believe that you are religiously driven to this. That's why. And now yeah. I want to... And you're also gullible. I want to show you, I want to show everybody what just... Remember, these are just 20 of the hacks, everybody. Yeah, you self-selected out any of the ones that were... We looked at the other video. Mike, why wouldn't you show some of the ones that were unsuccessful hacks, and yet on your list, Trump's votes went down? Out of thousands that China orchestrated. 
And so whether you're a Democrat or Republican, this is the most serious thing that's ever happened. This Okay, we're just, I mean, it's the same stuff every time. The biggest crime against our country and humanity. I and it happened on Trump's watch, according to you, and you want him to be president again. He's, he was the executive of our entire country, and he couldn't even handle an election. I could think of ever. So now let's pull up the next chart here. And what it's going to show everybody is just remember, we... Uh, again, this is, we're seeing an Excel document typed up on someone's computer. And this is supposed to tell us something. Again, this is, uh, you, this is the reverse engineering of what they put in to get the result they wanted to sell the demo of the software to Mike Lindell so that he would keep making these videos and paying them money. I just did, I just had 20 of the attacks, 20 of the thousands of attacks on our 2020 election by China. I just took 20 of them and I- And, uh, and, one, and the second one on your list was a company that does canoe trips. I had 20 of them validated and revalidated and re- You did not. Revalidated. No, you didn't. So, right? You are paying people to tell you what you want to hear. Now, as people who will not show their faces on camera. As we pull up this chart, I'm going to show you what those 20 attacks did. By the way, did we ever, in this whole thing, did we ever hear him say who hit record on election night? Remember he was saying they recorded this on, a, on election night and I gave this information to these guys to figure out what it was. Did he ever say who? I don't think he did. What they did, if you look at Pennsylvania here, it's where it said Biden won by over 80,000. Just mm -hmm. with these attacks that we showed you, this small sampling, Donald Trump won by over 107,000. You go to Georgia, Donald, they say Biden. Yeah, this is, uh, again, this is conjecture on bullshit. It still doesn't stand. I'm, I don't know why he thinks this is convincing. He's doing this math in front of you because he thinks that you'll look at this and go, whoa, that what is that is that. You have to believe the previous premise by entirely. 11,779. Just with this small sampling of the attacks, Donald Trump won by over 35,000 votes. Arizona, same Re read all story. Them. Over 10,000 uh, votes for Biden. And uh, after you add in uh, these, just a small sampling of, of the attacks, Donald Trump wins by almost 37,000. You go to Michigan. Michigan, it says Biden won. Remember, we had the big thing in Michigan where they injected the votes there. But you have 150. They, they did no such thing. 54,000 plus votes in Michigan. And... Um, with this small sampling of hacks, these 20, these 20 attacks, just 20 of them. Now Donald Trump wins Michigan by over 48,000 votes. Now, now when you go to Wisconsin, you can see Donald Trump lost by over 20,000 votes, but he really wins by over 49,000, almost 50,000 votes. So it was just so you know, by the way, if you're following, if you're losing track, um, the attack on our election was this ham-handed poorly constructed that China one-to-one -one attacked our election systems, uh, was able to remove one president and, in, and I guess, insert the one that they would rather have. And um, Donald Trump was president at the time and was so weak and dumb that he was incapable of even dealing with this, kind, this level of uh, ham-handed bullshittery. Um, what was it saying? What's wrong with looking into it and letting us look like Morans and who can the only people uh, that are going to... Um, oh, no one's stopping you from looking at this stuff. I, I'm not, again, uh, am I, am, sorry, am I hack, am I insisting that this should be taken down? Has anybody seen me say that Mike Lindell should not be allowed to say everything he's saying? I'm debunking it in layman's terms, easily. He can post this shit all he wants, but I don't have to pretend it's got merit because it's this dunkable. And re realize this was just 20 of the thousands of attacks. This is why when we, that you're alleging, we say that Donald Trump really won this election by 
like almost 80 million to 68 million for Biden. How can you switch tens of millions of votes? It had to be done with computers. It had to be done uh, with the machines through these. And everywhere they go, there's, you know, if they hack, if they change tens of millions of votes, but the ballots match up still paper wise, they, so the Chinese and the local, like, the volunteers in the area were coordinating with China in this secret one-to-one -one hack to go out like, oh shit, we gotta flip all these votes, so go print these ballots. We need this exact number. This dominion through all these machines. Yeah, I need to flash not misinformation. I don't, so YouTube, don't strike me for dealing with this bullshit. And China, uh, China did it. They, it's <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could see it. it I mean, you could, you can Google map the office. The cyber attack of his. Who's the mystery guest? Great question, George. Um, uh, this is Captain Bullshit, and um, he's uh, he's the uh, chairman of the Sucker Brigade, and uh, Mike uh, is paying him, uh, and he's got the dude has to shave his head every day um, it, that he doesn't prove nine to nothing that uh, I don't know. historical proportions. <laughs> And I want to ask you now, if you took this into the Supreme And by you, I mean dude with his face blurred out. Court, with all of this. Yeah, it's 107's cousin. It's one of, this guy is one, one of 107's feet. And you, just with these, just with this sampling, mm -hmm. and with these, uh, and brought it in there, could any, any cyber person that works in cyber, um, what do you call it, cyber warfare or cyber uh, forensic? security they would be able to show these nine justices um this evidence and is there any way that it would not be a nine zero vote saying this is a hundred percent true yes yes yeah they would look at all your stuff and you would go we picked 20 of these at random and you went and the second one you picked was a company that does websites for the travel and tourism board of of some of the states in question, you picked, you self-selected them out on purpose. And where did you get the number on the Trump loss of votes in these? Can we talk to the person who hit record? Can we see them on camera? Can we meet this person? How about the person that verified this? Can we meet that person? Why would he not show his face in your movie? No, and and I, I think it would be great for you know some of my colleagues and and you know more people within that community to to weigh in because yeah especially without their face uh, blurred out that's a great idea they'll they'll reach the same conclusion and you know we'd... that that this nutcase paid you to tell him what he wants to hear that's the conclusion We've been doing this for a long time we know what we're looking at and i'm confident in you know them seeing the same exact thing because, you know, yeah. we, we have, so it's, right. it's real, it's there and you can't change it. So what right. do you do with that? You right. have to, you have to rule and that ruling is, it has to be, you know, I mean, it's right. not just majority, it's not just majority, it's the whole thing. Like it's right. just, it's that black and white. And, you know, it, it doesn't come down to any politics. That's not what this is about. It's about, you know, our country and, you know, that that falls on both sides of the aisle. So I, I think, you know, at the end of the Yeah, at the end of the day, it's, you know, uh, hating on gaslight media is a bipartisan day, issue. That's, that's what needs to be done. And I think they'll, they'll choose the right, you know, decision. Right. Well, it'll be 9-0, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you heard it here. Yeah, I did. I heard it. He said it. I mean, whoever he is. I don't know who he is. You won't tell us who he is, but we'll take your word for it, because why not? Why shouldn't we listen to the CEO of MyPillow sitting in a chiropractor's waiting room telling us uh, that Jesus wants Trump to be president it, again? These guys, these nine Supreme Court justices. All, yeah, all the guys, all nine of the guys on the Supreme Court. Are going to be heroes as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, all the guys, especially Sonia Sotomayor, she's she's a real guy. Uh, so is uh, Amy Coney Barrett guy. They look at this, and, and it, they don't even have to. I would like to be one of them. It'd be very easy to be one. 
knowing that you've got brought evidence that is not subjective is 100 percent non-negotiable and so it's a negotiable it's it's a hundred percent horseshit very easy decision for all nine of them i mean if yeah. everybody you everybody you have to realize that these these are nine justices they are americans they grew they grew up here okay first of all um do you know how much stuff we have to assume um is completely in line to believe any of this not to mention like i said the correlation aspect of trump's loss of votes mixed with these alleged hacks the self-selecting out of the ones that weren't successful but trump's votes still went down we also saw those charts they took those out for this video because people weren't convinced we've done this so many fucking times but this we have to assume that this dude is legit and that this dude the packet of information that he is going through that has this information in it says what he says it says and that it was give, that it was legitimately recorded on that night and not fabricated by uh, to compute that very thing and he wasn't asked to verify stuff that was faked to start with based on fake input and output because, uh, like, none of that is there. None of it. They have families, they have grandchildren, and they have neighbors, they have friends. It doesn't. Yeah, and any one of them could tell you what I'm telling you about the bullshittery going on. No matter what, if you're a Democrat or Republican or what you are, this was 100% attacked by China, the CCP coming into our country, and, and they just happened to use the Democratic Party. That's who they yeah, and they also happen not to use proxy servers. They pick to do it with. Well, you know what? Next time they could pick Republicans. And, oh, wait, why should we fight this then? I don't know. The, uh, the Democrats warned us about this, everybody. They, they warned us about this for a long time, that these machines could get hacked. You mean the ESNS? We recently also, I actually... The ESNS machines? We held a demonstration for my colleagues here at the Capitol. Um, where we brought in um, folks who, before our eyes, hacked election machines. Yeah, but they were hooking their computers up to them. They're not really hacking them. If they were really hacking them, they would be off-site somewhere, and you would watch the machine that's not hooked up to the Internet, sitting by itself in the middle of the room, and the, and the uh, information on it would change. Um, those that are not, those that are being used in many states, but are not state of the art from our perspective. You mean the ES and S machines? Um, We're very concerned because there's only three companies. You could easily hack into them. It makes it seem like all these states are doing different things, but in fact, three companies are controlling that. 43% of American voters use voting machines. Right. But we had more paper ballots this time around than ever. That researchers have found have serious security flaws. Yeah, what year was this? Including back doors. These companies are accountable to no one. They won't answer basic questions about their cybersecurity practices. And the biggest companies won't answer any questions at all. You mean the biggest one? What's the biggest one, Ron? What's the biggest one? Guess the, the one that did Texas, Florida, Ohio. Most, uh, almost all the red states, if not all of them, I guess, technically. And Kentucky, oddly enough. Hmm. ES and S. The biggest one? Five. The one, the one that um, they use unequivocally in Texas and the dude who was in Mike Lindell's second video, I think. No, it was the first one. Was it the first one? The second one was the shortened version of the first one. So he cut that guy out. The first one where the guy goes, yeah, Texas is the worst. States have no paper trail, and that means there is no way to prove the numbers the voting machines put out are legitimate. Well, that's why with all the mail-in votes, the legit votes were there. So much for Cybersecurity 101. I know America's voting machines are vulnerable because my colleagues and I have hacked them repeatedly. 
We've created attacks that can spread from machine to machine like a computer virus and silently change election outcomes. And in every single case, this is from that uh, HBO documentary, I think. And and these are all legitimate concerns that have happened over the last few years. Many of them answered over the last little bit. Now, who is fighting all the le election security bills that go through? Who's refusing to pass them? Who stopped them in their tracks? Which party? Which party was bizarrely underwater in Texas, of all places, and Ohio and Florida, and then it came up smelling like roses? Hmm. We've found ways for attackers to sabotage machines and to steal votes. Early voters in Georgia in 2018 saw machines deleting votes and switching them to other candidates. And you say hacked, what were they able to do once they gained access to the machines? Oh, all sorts of things. They could uh, manipulate uh, the outcome of the vote. They could manipulate the tally. Uh, they could delete the tally. Um, and, and they could compromise the vote in any number of ways. I'm pretty sure my un that's why you have re recounts. Undergrad computer security class at Michigan could have changed the outcome of the 2016 Michigan election if we wanted to. It, it is that bad. And we have a combination of very powerful adversaries. So in 2016, Trump wins, and we have a big problem with election security. Trump does nothing about it. The Republicans fight it all the way. And now they're decrying it because they lost. It, with the largest uh, paper trail in American voting history. Areas and unfortunately quite vulnerable and obsolete systems. That's, that's why I say it's only a matter of time. Yes. Well, yeah, anytime you, you post, you know, whenever you use the Kalamazoo Canoe Committee's website to post your, your, your voter databases, you're in big trouble. This is, um, this is why I have been so confident and everybody that's watching this now, you need to share this video mm -hmm. with everyone you know. Oh, I shared it. In the world. Every day, get up, text it to people, share it, um, call people, talk about it. Because you know what? This is a... Uh, oh, I called people. This is our country. And right now, you have a job to do, everyone. Spread the word. Show this. Yeah, in our country, you just shit on... Um, three internet providers, and a company that does uh, travel and tourism websites in an attempt to further this bullshit analogy. And by the way, I, I wish we could call up his other movie right to the spot if I cared to watch these things twice. Christ almighty. We could go back to the thing where they had the tallies of the votes and the, the line that says, was it an effective hack? The yeses and nos, and they didn't actually breach at all. I don't know what the non-answer was, but the, all the Trump's votes go down in all of them because it was based on a time scale, but not on the locality. Why are we doing that? Because when this gets to the Supreme Court... It's not getting to the Supreme Court. The big win is they have to accept it to look at it. Every yeah, they don't. They're not going to accept it. It's, I mean, it's garbage on its face. Buddy, they Dude, you're, the second company you cite is Gaslight Media. They have to accept it to look at it. Because once they look at it... Oh, that's who he is. I didn't realize. Thanks for posting that. It will be absolutely 9-0. <laughs> yeah, they had to cut him off because he continued to ramble. And that's the end of the video. No music. Oh, Brandon, doing the work. Just Brandon and, uh, and his... Is it... Who else? His brother. Yep, Logan. Just printing money. Please, guys, keep making these videos for Mike Lindell. I mean, you're, this is, I mean, you're going to basically be able to open your own studio for clean flicks one day. And that's, that's it. That's the, no music, no nothing. That's the, that's, and that's the graphic too. That's, this is supposed to be convincing. This is a, and a YVW TV studio production. This is supposed, this is the graphic. This is supposed to turn the entire thing. Good Lord.